Holidays is a European project that aims at improving human factors aspects of development of complex human machine systems. Holidays provides methods, techniques and tools that support design of consistent, efficient and usable interfaces. The diversion is rather a rare situation when crew needs to find a suitable airport as replacement for their original destination. Often the decision must be made immediately and therefore the diversion is considered as a high workload manoeuvre. The crew must secure the aircraft and assess the situation using data spread across the cockpit or even obtain the data by uploading them from ground or studying pre-flight materials. On many occasions, all these tasks must be accomplished very fast. In holidays, we developed an application that assists pilots in diversion manoeuvre and we aim to reduce the workload put on the crews. Development of such application requires close cooperation with pilots and acquisition and analysis of large amounts of data. We quickly identified that the way of data handling in our company was suboptimal and in cooperation with our HF experts and our partners from Holiday's project, we designed an improvement of the data management process that covered the most peculiar steps. Data integrity, especially if data are obtained from several sources. Data shared among members of team and also with other teams. Experiment instruments shared among teams. Data and analysis are needed much later in reviews or certification. To do so, we looked at HF data in a generic way. We always have a pilot in the centre of the focus and attach generalised pieces of information to him. The information may be a discrete one, such as Phil's questionnaire, score sheets or remarkable events. Or it can be a time series of data samples, such as video data or physiological data. What is common for all these data items is the means for categorization and annotation that helps to keep all information in one place. This single place, Experiment Delta Archive, EDA, provides simple web interface to access any item within its proper context, catalogued by its meta-information. HF experts are supposed to navigate through the interface to reach raw or pre-processed data in order to undertake the analysis or reporting. The design of the interface also allows for efficient and safe sharing of data, analysis and reports. Additional extension of data management to automated data acquisition improves the user experience and efficiency of work. The extension is based on abstraction of EDA interface towards various hardware adapters of experiment devices. Holiday's HFRTP provides such abstraction as part of RT Maps tool, which in addition also controls synchronization of several data streams. So how does this assembly help NHF work? The experimenter starts with configuring the experiment session via the EDA interface. The configuration brings together information on purpose of the session, on session plan, subjects, equipment, etc. Finally, EDA creates session descriptor that is attached to each data element acquired in the session. Then the devices must be set up and connected. The experiment is supposed to cross-check validity of acquired data, either by using dedicated tools or with help of Holiday's RT Maps tool at one place and at one glance. As the experiment has started, the experimenter may focus on the performance of a subject while RT Maps care for integrity, synchronization and cataloging of all data streams automatically. At any time after data are successfully stored in EDA, any authorized user may view and work on data. The cataloging metadata created by EDA provides navigation across various experiments, which in turn makes it much easier to trace back the evidence for critical decisions made in the process of system development. This approach thus supports sharing of information among teams, technology handover to productization teams, or negotiations with certification agencies. The improved data management with HFRTP tools 
automates three error-prone steps that each HF expert must nowadays do manually. First, RT maps allow for connecting any data provider, being it a sensor, application or hardware platform. All data streams are naturally synchronized. Second, RT maps provide a unified interface to cross-check data integrity before the experimenter can start data collection. Third, EDA interfaces used to trigger data streaming to a dedicated archive. Meta information is automatically created and stored by EDA that allows for any future processing or review of the data.